Many professional stock market traders utilize trend lines in their analysis. Today, we are presenting advanced versions of these trend lines that offer improved technical insights, greater accuracy, and reduced risk. Let's call these trend line versions as leading indicators. These are called leading indicators as they provide insights into potential market shifts by detecting changes that occur before the market reacts. Here are the different types of trend lines that we are going to analyze. Trend lines, parallel channel, linear regression channel. Let's do an analysis using historical data. Open the TradingView application and select the Nifty 50 index. As an example, select time frame as daily. Use application drawings for trend line, parallel channel, and indicator for linear regression channel. Go to drawing tools and select trend line. Look for key price points on the chart where the price has reversed direction. These points could be troughs, lows in the stock's price. Connect the low points, troughs, with a straight line. Start from the last major change low point and extend the line. Ensure the trend lines touch or are close to the most recent highs or lows. Avoid forcing the lines to fit the data. They should naturally follow the price movements. Extend the trend lines into the future to predict potential support and resistance levels for upcoming price movements. A trend line is more reliable if it connects three or more points. Two points can be used to draw a trend line, but a third point is needed for confirmation. Selecting the appropriate time frame is crucial for the type of trading you plan to execute. Higher time frames are recommended for long-term investing, while shorter time frames are suitable for short-term swing trades. For intraday trading, consider using 1-hour or 15-minute charts. Now that we've covered trend lines, let's shift our focus to parallel channel. The parallel channel drawing tool allows you to add a mean line, which can indicate potential intermediate trend reversals. Additionally, the top and bottom lines of the channel run parallel, providing a more accurate best fit. Trend line can be drawn. From the starting point to end point of trend, drag a parallel line to the other side of the price action. This line becomes the channel's boundary. The mean line here, it is shown as dotted line, runs in midway between the upper and lower boundaries of the channel. It can act as a pivot point where price reversals may occur. The top line acts as a resistance level where prices may reverse downward. The bottom line acts as a support level where prices may reverse upward. Prices generally fluctuate within the channel, bouncing off the upper and lower boundaries. Breakouts above or below the channel lines can indicate potential trend changes. Now observe the gap with traditional trend lines and parallel channel. You can observe differences in accuracy, is with the parallel channel's mean line provides additional confirmation of channel width. We have seen, parallel channel offers a more advanced approach compared to traditional trend lines, providing clearer insights into breakouts and more precise intermediate entry and exit points. Now let's move on to linear regression channel. Go to indicator section and search for linear regression channel. Go to the indicator settings and check inputs tab. LRC by default uses 100 candles as lookback period starting from the most recent to the oldest. You can adjust the lookback period and change the length as needed. The length adjustment should be set to ensure the channel encompasses the recent consistent trend change. Additionally, make sure that the channel boundaries and mean line are accurately set, as we have seen in parallel channel. The extended right lines of the channel can be used for forecasting future price movement. Mean lines touch points at 1, 2, 3, and beyond confirm the most recent trend. Let's evaluate the accuracy of all three types of trend lines by overlapping them on the chart for comparison. The width of the linear regression channel is technically justified for its accuracy because it measures how much prices fluctuate around the mean line. Statistically, the channel takes into account n standard deviations above and below the mean line. One standard deviation covers 68% of samples, two standard deviations cover 95%, and three standard deviations cover 99.7%. Let's explore this on the chart. 
Open the indicator settings and navigate to the inputs section where you can find fields for upper deviation and lower deviation. By default, LRC uses two standard deviations, which logically considers the behavior of 95% of samples. You can experiment by adjusting the number of deviations and observing how the samples fall within the channel. Compared to traditional trend lines and parallel channels, the linear regression channel offers added confidence because of its mean reversion strategy, two standard deviation boundaries, and predictable extended channel.